All right. So, <clears throat> to start, we need to make sure our safety glasses are on when we are cutting. So, safety glasses on. As I said, you guys are the only ones that are going to be using these. So, I'm going to sanitize them every day. So, we're going to be good to go. Okay, this is called a bench pin. And we need it on the table. This is where we're working. Okay, so, I have my hole. This is the area that I'm going to be working in. It's going to be sticking off the table. This part is what gets attached to the table. So I have my, my hook and I'm going to put it through the hole so it comes up the middle and it rests in that little groove. So my clamp looks like this. Okay. Then I'm going to take this whole piece and I'm going to put it under the table on the edge. Come on. And I'm going to clamp it to the table. You want to make sure that it's tight. The bench, the pin, the clamp that I got is not working. So, And if you're using a C-clamp like this, you just have the piece on the table. And then you just take your C-clamp and you just kind of clamp it as best you can. Okay. Um, some of those uh, clamps, the metal pieces, some of the... the the um, screws are stripped. If that's um, the case with yours, then just get one of these clamps. It's sometimes a little easier. Okay. And I like to put it so that the uh, clamp part, I mean, the is at the top, just so it's easier for me to do it later on. Okay. Okay. This is nice and secure. Okay. This is where I'm working. I work on this, not on my table. Okay. The next thing that we're going to be doing is loading the jeweler saw. Um, you're going to take one of your saw blades. And the way the saw blade looks, there's a front, a back, a top, and a bottom. Okay? To the saw blade. Okay. The saw blade looks like this. It's got a straight back part. It has a front. There's like a little part that's has no teeth on it. And then the teeth look like this. They're like half Christmas trees. Okay. This is what the saw blade looks like. Okay. They go in a specific direction and they're on a certain side of the blade. Okay, so one side of the blade is flat. There's nothing on it. The other side has teeth. Okay, and then the teeth go up or down. You want the teeth to be facing you and up when you go in the saw in the um, blade. So that should make sense in one second. Here's my, my jeweler saw. Come on. So this is my jeweler saw. Okay, I'm going to hold it. When I'm putting the blade in, I'm going to be holding it like this. So this is up, okay, and towards you is toward the handle, toward this part. So if I grab my blade, my teeth should be facing up, and the pokey, uh, the, the, the teeth should be facing down. So it should be like this. They should be facing like toward the handle. Okay. Who is confused about that? Okay. So the teeth are facing toward you and they're up to the ceiling. Okay. Now to put them in the jeweler saw. Okay. I'm going to move this this way. Okay. I put it against the table so I have both of my hands. So can you guys see? This is not the right shirt to be wearing today, but hopefully you'll be able to see. There we go. Okay. I lean it up against the table and I put it like kind of at my belly to hold it. Okay? So I can be working with both of my hands without it um, moving around. Okay? 
I'm going to loosen the top screw so there's a little bit of a gap between these two uh, pieces of metal. Okay, those two pieces here, come on. Do you see these two pieces of metal here? The blade is going to fit right in that little gap. Okay, so I'm going to put my, my top piece in and I'm going to be screwing it tight. Okay, so now I have my blade. My blade is in and down here it's not attached yet. Okay, the first adjustment I'm going to make is to the height of my saw blade. There's a screw on the back right here. Yes? Do you put the blade with the saws down this way? No, up. I said up. Saw is up and the teeth are pointed toward you. So that's the first thing you have to do is notice what way your teeth are going for the blade. And then once you have it the right direction, you're going to put it at, screw it in at the top. So my blade is in here and it's just kind of flopping around. I need to now adjust the height of my saw. So I do that with this thing here. I unscrew it and I'm going to just make it that my saw blade is going to just barely fit in there. Okay. Can you see how it doesn't really fit? It's, I mean, it's not going to really attach there. There's not enough space. And the reason being for that is we're going to make it have space in a second. With my saw blade attached to the table like this, okay, I'm pushing against the table, I'm going to push forward on my handle till there's this blade fits in the gap at the bottom, and then I'm going to tighten it. The reason we're doing that is this needs to be super tight. It can't be like loose and floppy. It has to be tight. So it has to be like, think like a bow and arrow, like a bow. The bow is super, super, super tight. Okay? That's what we're doing. We're making this go under tension. And if you listen, well, you guys can't hear it, but it's going to be a nice, like, high-pitched ping noise. So I'm going to come around and show you it to you so you can hear The number one reason why people break their saw blades is because it's not tight. If you're, um... I guess I'm going to draw in here. If when you're cutting your metal, the metal's going to be here, and then your saw blade is going to be going in, like kind of like this. If your saw blade as you're cutting is doing this, like bending like that as it's trying to cut, it's going to break. And it doesn't break nicely either. Like it breaks and like this whole middle part like chunks out. And then you have like two little nubby pieces that are not going to really work for you. So if your blade is bending like that as you're trying to cut, it needs to be tighter. So this is like the number one reason why people's blades break. It's just their blade's not tight enough. The second reason that people's blades break is because as they're cutting, they're trying to turn it. You don't turn it. You keep it straight at all times. The metal is what moves. The blade stays straight at a 90, uh, 90 degree angle, going straight forward. Okay? <clears throat> so, we have our blade in. We have our bench hook on. We're going to prep our metal. So, your metal. Oh, God, am I going to cut with this one? Yeah, I guess so. This is one somebody already started cutting and did not so great a job. But, um, your metal might have a film on it. It most likely does. Okay? If you kind of scratch at the corner, this plastic will come off. Okay? You need to remove that because it like gums up your saw blade and makes your life miserable. So, okay? Make sure there's none. It should only be on one side. But it's like this pinky kind of film. So make sure you remove that. And then that circle cutout that you grabbed. Come on, I had one. Seriously? The circle cutout that you grabbed, you're going to use that to trace onto your metal. So you can cut yours out, okay? 
and we're going to trace it onto our metal. And the way you're going to trace it, there's Sharpies on the side over there for you, but you're going to trace it. And when you also trace it, make sure you make a notch and recognize where the, um, the four lines go as well. So I'm going to trace this. Okay. I hate this. Part. I guess I'm going to go on this one. I'll go here. So I'm tracing it with my Sharpie. as best I can try to be neat and I'm gonna make a little mark where my line should go and then what you can do is you can fold your circle in half and use it as a ruler So I'm gonna fold my circle in half and I'm just gonna connect my, my lines and I'm gonna make a straight line And I'm going to make a straight line. Okay. So my metal should look like this. Okay. Hello. There you go. Okay. I got my circle on there. And I have my, sh my lines going through the middle. Okay. So we cut out our circle. We traced it. We made little notches for our, our uh, rope where the lines go, used our circle, cut our, I mean, folded our circle in half as a ruler to then get our, our lines. Okay. So at this point, we should all have a bench hook on the table, a jeweler saw that's ready to go, and a piece of metal that has a circle and two lines on it. <clears throat> all right. Cutting the metal. You're going to start by cutting the outside, then you cut through the middle. Okay? <clears throat> Before you cut, again, um, how you are sitting is important. You want to have like good posture. You're not holding your, um, your jeweler saw with like a death grip, like white knuckles, like you're, you know, like, ugh. Try to keep a loose handle on it, okay? You're going to hold it kind of like in a fist. And it's going to go straight up and down, okay? And you're cutting in the middle here in this little groove in the middle of your bench pin, okay? So how I do it is I hold the metal with my one hand as I'm cutting. Pay attention to where your other hand is, please, okay? You want to make sure that you're, um, you pay attention to where it is so you don't accidentally cut into it okay and then nextly um, you want to make sure that you're not pushing the blade forward the blade is always moving cutting straight up and down you're always cutting up and down but you're not really pushing it forward you're kind of letting the blade cut as it goes like a very light pressure to go forward okay if you really are trying to manhandle it it's gonna break Okay, so um, it's a little hard to get started. I like to kind of start at an angle, like going around my, uh, my blade so you can kind of see where my, my blade is going. I'm going to cut in at a 45 degree angle, okay, just to get started. So I kind of go on the downstroke. Hello. Come on. Okay. And once I'm in, once I'm in, I'm going to keep it at 90 degrees. And you want to have nice long strokes. You don't want to have like teeny, you don't want to go like, ee, 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 ee. you want to go uh, 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 as it's going. It'll make, it'll sound different when you guys, what you'll notice. So like, as I'm cutting, can you hear this is like really short strokes? If I do nice long I'm using the whole saw. I'm not killing it. Okay? And I'm get almost to my circle already. Okay, so I'm at my circle. 
So can you guys see that I'm at the circle already? No, you probably not. I can't. So I'm already at the circle. Okay. And as I'm going, like I said, you are not turning the saw. You're turning the metal. You always want to keep your saw blade straight up and down. If you have to stop, you have to saw backwards through your hole. Through your, um, the, the thing you just made. Yeah. 